Hello, it's Alison Pilling, and I'm a co-host uh, for the Death Cafe Quinty. And this is the February event uh, reflection. So I just wanted to share some of the main highlights that were for me personally um, during this event so that you can get an idea of some of the things we talk about. Um, the Death Cafe is an open, confidential, safe space to just talk about anything related to death and dying. Um, we do not have an agenda or a presentation. It's literally people come and they express what's on their hearts and minds. Uh, some people just listen, you know, um, it's, it's up to you, but, uh, yeah. So some of the things, the highlights that kind of stuck with me after the February event were how do we get through these winter months where we might be starting to feel depleted? And we talked about the importance of setting boundaries for ourselves during these cold, dark days and setting boundaries that will actually nurture us. Uh, you know, so whether that's going to bed earlier, making sure we eat some healthy, nutritious food, lots of water, you know, even getting outside for a little bit, even if it's 10 minutes, if it's freezing, but really, you know, I guess simplifying, getting back to basics so that we nurture our bodies and have some, um, boundaries to give us give us the energy to get through the day to get through the winter um, another sort of highlight topic that came up for me was what is the greatest gift you can give someone so what is one of those things that you think about or maybe you keep reflecting on after a loved one's pass and one of the suggestions I came up was the gift of presence so actually giving your full attention and, you know, that quality time, that time to connect with someone um, is so important. And, you know, we've learned there's many ways to do that. You can do that in person. You can do that over the phone. We've got, you know, this beautiful thing called the Internet. Now we can we can reach our loved ones um, all around the world. So how I guess I'll just add that little nugget of like, if there's ways you can think about how can you give the gift of presence to your loved ones, your full attention in such a busy world. And the third thing we talked about, well, the third thing that stuck in my head, um, we, we were talking about how do you sort of continue that, that dialogue with your loved one, right? So some of us may um, practice prayer or journaling, or maybe we have conversations with our loved ones in our minds. Um, one of the suggestions for um, during our conversation was the connection with the night sky. And just taking that moment to go outside in the evening and looking up and whether there's the, the stars or the moon, um, it kind of gives you a little bit of perspective of how, how big our universe is um and i guess how how small we may be in that in that big picture it gives you some perspective but it's also very calming um so just to step out on your porch even in those freezing cold nights take a couple breaths and look up you know you can have a conversation with your loved one if you're comfortable doing that um if that's not your thing you know maybe it's just a couple of breaths to to calm calm your nervous system down or that type of thing before you would journal or send messages in a prayer. Um, just so you can still feel as though you have that connection, that communication. Um, and I know I would just suggest have an open mind of trying something different, right? And if it doesn't work for you, don't, don't continue doing it. But that's one thing about this space uh, with the Death Cafe is that we're open to having these conversations and potentially learning new t techniques, strategies, um, tools, like tools in our toolbox as we all move through our grief journeys. So I would love to invite you. Um, our next one is March 16th. That's a Wednesday and it's from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and we're doing them on Zoom still. So you can just send a message through the Death Cafe Quinty Facebook site and we'll add you to the email to get the Zoom meeting link. Okay, I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care.